Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna do one more musical problem. So this is from February 2018, Silver, uh, called Snow Boots. Let me summarize the problem real quick. Farmer John has to go from his house to the barn, and it's like these are the tiles he has to go through to get to his location, destination. And each tile has a, has snow in it, and this is the depth of the snow, right? And he has a bunch of boots, which he can use. Um, so the first number tells us the depth of the boot, and that the second number tells us how the maximum steps or the maximum maximum tiles it can you know go through in each like step. Basically, means we can skip that many uh, to get to our you know next tile. Basically. Um, the answer we have to find is the minimum number of boots he has to discard, which means like change basically, in order to um, get to the end point, which is the barn, right? So we could use dynamic programming to uh, find an answer to this particular question. So what I did was I created a start index array, which means we're going to finish, right? We're going to see how far behind we can start. And still finish with that particular boot. So, for example, with two, three, it's gonna be. Let's say we, we are here, so we could have reached zero from any of these three points, right? And we obviously know it couldn't be five or four because they are greater than two, and that boot cannot tolerate that much of snow. So it has to be this. And from here, it couldn't be any three of these. So basically, we know it is this. This is the um, you know, the start index from which we could start with this boot and finish. And similarly, I did that for all these boots. And uh, another array um, does the same thing, but the other way. So we're going to start here and see how far we can get. And we can go to uh, 8 or 3 of these two. So we have to go to 2. And from 2, we can go anywhere else. So this boot's um, basically finish index is this 2 right here. And it's, uh, start index is this 1. So I did this for all of the boots. And uh, then I actually had to just code a little bit. Let me sh show you what I did. So think about it this way, right? So our start, I mean, finish index tells us how far we can get. Now start index tells us how far um, we can start back and, j and still finish with a particular boot. So we can see that um, if we start, let's say, and we can use Let's say we're at the i boot, right? Like, let's say we're at 3, 4, because that's the solution for this particular question. Um, so, using these two boots, um, we can get, let's say, you know, some arbitrary like location. And if the endpoint is greater than the start, that means they intersect, right? Like this. And that means we can obviously, you know, using just those pairs of boots, uh, we can get to the end from the start point to the end point which is all what we need to do. So that particular boots index would be our answer because index is always less than one, right? So, um, because it starts at zero. Um, so that would be our answer. So for this particular question, two would be the answer because three, four um, start index is less than um, the max number of um, place we can, which is, which is gonna be three, this three right here. That would be the max we can get using these two starting boots. Since that index is greater than the start index, which is actually zero for uh, this boot, that would be the answer. So using that idea, so this is the code in Java, basically. Um, this is a bunch of input stuff, and this is where I said the start index. Um, we're gonna try all possible all possibilities, but we are gonna try the most like you know useful kind of because. It's better to skip as many tiles as possible, right? Because, yeah, you're just trying to get as far as possible, right? And similarly, it's, it's going backwards, same thing, same idea. Going backwards or forwards, same idea. And this is the part where we actually compare. So int right equals 1, which, which this, this is going to be our star index, basically. And max is 0. Max is, max is basically... So the idea is um, we're going to try to get the max or... Um, max finish index, right? It doesn't have to be the last one we use. It could be any of the boots we used. It could be any of them. 
and we, we only want the max of it right they're going to compare the max we can get to the start index of our current in, current index to see if the start index is less than the max if it is that means the two you know lines intersect and there's a path for us to get from the start to the end and then that's our answer and we're done but if we can so this if condition basically does that we just can increment right and since they said the an answer exists, we don't even have to like have this bound checking like while well, right is less than n or something like that. So it's always gonna break at some point. We don't know which, but it's gonna break some point. So we don't even need like a bounce here. And we're just gonna print the answer, which is gonna be just right. So that's it.